restaurant and original taco house. Rasmussen Motors, people who are driven by excellence drive one of these. Olinger Travel Homes on 82nd Avenue, the number one Atasca dealer in the world. And by Bolliger & Sons Insurance, serving Oregon and Southern Washington. Hello once again everybody, I'm Todd McKim along with the coach and welcome to this week's show. Well, maybe it's the new set, I don't know what it is, but we've had a lot of highlights in the first two weeks and coach, I know you gotta be happy about that and the fact you got two victories too. Well, you know, Todd, I can't remember uh, ever being over 40 points two straight games and if you add uh, the last game of last season, that's three straight games and uh, offensively we had a, a very balanced attack uh, between the fullback and tailback running. Uh, defense came up with some big key plays. Uh, it was a great Oregon-Washington State football game. I mean, they're a, they're a good football team, and they have a lot of offensive firepower. And at times, it got nerve-wracking. But I was I was pleased to see our team respond from adversity, uh, uh, really for the first time this year. Exactly right. I think one of the things that impressed me, Coach, was the fact that every time Washington State seemingly would gain or regain the momentum. Your team either came back offensively, mounted a big drive and a score, or in the fourth quarter, come up with a big defensive play. Well, I think that was a key pivotal point in the game. Uh, every time they did get within striking range and the crowd started to take over, uh, we turned the momentum back to our favor. And, and that's not an easy thing to do on the road. And the Palouse is uh, notoriously a hard place to play. And I was very pleased with the, the squad's maturity and, and uh, the development in that phase of the game. All right, uh, we're just about ready to start the football game with the highlights. The Ducks won the toss of the coin, elected to defer their decision until the second half, and so the Ducks will kick off. Couldn't have been better. Same situation as last week along with the Long Beach State game. Uh, we won the toss, deferred, they took the ball. We had the wind at our back early, jumped on uh, them for a lead, although they did move the ball. They, uh, they were stuck with relatively bad field position in the first quarter. Our kickoff coverage was not nearly as good as you can see Kirk Dennis making not only a school record field goals with making a saving tackle there. Uh, Bouchard, uh, they came right out, quick counted us. We weren't quite ready. You can see they make a nice long run here uh, before being tackled by Derek Horton. So now they got the ball deep in your territory, but this is a very key series as the, you know, the final outcome maybe doesn't reflect, but I thought as far as momentum early in the game was concerned. It really was. Nice play. Scott Kozak comes off the block, forces the back wide, and then Matt Brock makes a nice play tackling him for no gain. So it's third down and 11. Uh, remember, you get the Cougars going against the wind. Rosenbaugh finds his receiver. It's a gain of about, well, let's call it about eight. Sets up fourth and three. They disdained a field goal attempt and went for it on fourth down. Surprised me a little bit here, and uh, we make a key play here on the option. Mark Kern's coming out and getting help from Kozak and Matt Brock to hold them about a yard short of the first down. You can see Kozak playing the option, forces the pitch. Kern scraping out, actually missed the tackle, but knocked him down, uh, and uh, we held him about a yard short of the first down. So the Ducks with their first offensive possession of the football game. Derek Lavelle to Latin Berry, who had four receptions in addition to his outstanding running work on Saturday, picks up about five. This is third and four. Pressure on the quarterback. You can see uh, we overthrow Will Height, but they get a roughing the passer call there that, that keeps our drive alive, and just a great run here by Lattenberry on the draw play. He can do some things that maybe a lot of fullbacks can't do. He has the power, but he also has the, the speed and quickness to get outside. You can see good block by Gilbert, good block by Husco. Great cut there. And Latin just switches the ball and runs away here. Nice, about a 32 yard gain, so which in itself is longer than any one run we had at all, any time last year. Hand off to him again in the middle. Picks up about four. So this is a fourth and one, and you kind of mush it up in there and get uh, just enough for the first down as Musgrave on the keeper. A couple of key fourth down plays for us in this game, and that was one of them here. They're in a blitz. Uh, we have no chance. We get called for intentional grounding there, which is a good call. Musgrave's in the grasp and trying to throw the ball away there. We come back with the option fake. Hit Obi wide open. Uh, Coach Toledo did a good job on this play. You'll see it on the replay. We faked the option, which we ran a lot against Long Beach State, and we thought we could get their corner to bite in this particular coverage at this point on the field, and we did, and uh, Bob made a great call here, and, and Musgrave executed it and hit Obi for the touchdown. Unfortunately, the point after was no good. Uh, the snap was not good, and it was 6-0 uh, as the Ducks have the early lead. The Cougars get the ball back, but again, the defense 
early in the football game, uh, getting the job done, and this is a third and very long, and uh, contains Broussard for a short game. Good tackle there by Mark Wynn in our nickel package there. Nice throw underneath to Joe Reitzig. We uh, tried to throw the ball underneath a lot more because they are zone team. Good run there, good tackle, uh, breaking a tackle by Lavelle. Picks up a nice gain for about a 12-yard gain in the first down. You can see a good block here by Latin Berry right there on the corner, cutting him down. They just have a hard time getting a good shot on Derek. He makes good decisions and cuts. Very quick and elusive. So this is a third and 11. Goodness. Unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> Joe writes it goes up, gets one foot down in the backside of the end zone. I don't know. It's really tough to see on this. Uh, good protection here, Andy Sunia. Uh, good job by Husco and, and Gilbert. Great leaping grab, gets one foot down. The register guard had a, uh, a picture of it that showed the one foot in with about six inches to spare just before the other one came down out, outside. It was a great job of photography. Uh, great play there, particularly on third down. And the point after you saw from the hash mark, there was a penalty. Ducks actually been successful on the two-point conversion, but a penalty nullified it, so they had to kick a, an extra point from the hash mark, and it was successful. Here you can see Scott Kozak playing the little dive play. Whitney forcing it wide, and Kozak making the play for a yard loss. Teams don't have much success running at Scott Kozak, do they? <laughs> He's a heck of a football player. So now the Cougars back to the air. This is a key play here as Rosenbaugh throws it into the turf. And uh, so now it's third down and 10. And now you see the elusiveness of Rosenbaugh here. Just does get the first down, and the drive continues. He's a, a heck of a quarterback. Good job there by Mike Blake. He just runs right past Stallworth, who was trying to block him and stuff Broussard. You can see here comes Blakey right into your picture there, face up, gets Broussard and just bulldogs him down. Kind of reminds me of Dave Maley from Prineville. That's right. Bulldog and the old steers there. <laughs> so the next play, a draw. Devin Fitzpatrick, number 99, waiting there. Gain of only one. So it's third down and 11. And the pass is incomplete. So we go to fourth down. Watch the block here by Aaron Thomas, that comeback block. Bang. Took two out with that play. If we'd have got a one more block, I think Terry would have had a long touchdown there. But a great block by Aaron Thomas on the punt return. But the Cougars get the football back, and now they mount a drive that will culminate in a score. As the Ducks' uh, defense had held so far, but with the lead 13 to nothing, the Cougars come marching back. Their offense is really hard to, to keep under control for the whole game, and they do get a lot of time to throw here and find some open seams. You can see we're right there to make the tackle and the hit, but they do a good job of executing, catching, and, and uh, hanging on to the football. Boom, good hit again, but he, hang, he was able to hang on to the ball. And moments later, Rosenbaugh over the top of the quarterback sneak, and with a point after, it is now 13 to seven. So you want to be a kickoff return man? Chris Oldham right here takes the kick right up into the middle. Boom. A little traffic there. Well, it sure is. So at the end of the first quarter, the Ducks leading at 13 to 7, but the Cougars have just scored and have some momentum. So we begin the second period with the Ducks in one of many situations during the course of this day where the offense needed to come onto the field and regain the momentum. Excellent run there by Derek. Uh, does a good job. Inside, good block by Randy Wilhite. Breaks a tackle after about a two-yard gain. Good block by Husco. Makes a cut outside. Gets a little help from Terry Obi. Switches the ball. Tries to take on the tackler uh, before he's forced out of bounds. Gain of 14 on the play. First and 10 now for the Ducks at the Cougar 43. Running into the boundary here. Good block again by the fullback on the corner. Now we hand it back to Randy Wilhite. Good spin move here, comes out of the pile. Excellent run by Randy. He had a couple of good runs during the course of the game. We'll look at it again. Good to have him back off the turf toe that he injured in practice. You can see that spin move there, keeping his feet going. Comes out into the wide open spaces and picks up some extra yards. After That's one thing our backs did, I think, an excellent job of, is they picked up extra yardage after being hit for the first time. First down play. 
Musgrave for the next first down, gain of 11. The ball now is at the seven yard line. You can see there, Latin took a good shot, but gained about two yards after he was hit. Fake inside, good fake. And Kolya Teft gets his first uh, collegiate touchdown. Nice play by the junior from El Camino High School in Sacramento. Musgrave under pressure makes a perfect throw here and hits Kolya in the corner of the end zone. So now you decide to go for the two point conversion. We run the same play we ran the first time that was nullified by a holding penalty. They uh, didn't cover it very well. We elected to come back and run it again, and Lavelle was wide open for the two-point conversion. It was even more wide open than that shows because uh, you had, had a slot and a receiver out to the right side and only one defender out there, but still went ahead and the, and the play was run successfully. Great interception here by Derek Horton. The first of two on the day for Derek, and a big turnover for the Ducks as we're early in the second period. This is what we had to have in, in our defensive scheme. We had to get some turnovers and a nice pick there. Derek reaches out with his left hand, pulls it in. His momentum's going the wrong way and he, he changes it uh, and we get excellent field position. Leading 21 to seven and with an opportunity here to get a few more points. Pass interference against the Cougars. Trying to hit Joe Merton underneath. The linebacker got there before the ball. Now we run into the boundary again and Lavelle picks up about seven yards. Come back into the boundary again. Good block by Randy Wilhite. Lavelle takes a good shot, but picks up some extra yards. Come on the option. He, Musgrave goes to pitch, but his knee was down before he pitched, and they ruled it dead there. Now Kirk Dennis comes in and converts on a 32-yard field goal right down the middle. Exactly as you mentioned, right down the middle. And the Ducks leading at 24 to 7. And we've only played about 20 minutes of this football game. There's a pass that almost intercepted by Chris Oldham. Had it in his hands, but the receiver knocked it out, and that would have ended that drive. Uh, and they actually take this down and score now. Make a nice completion there before Brett Young makes the tackle. Well, here's the thing about their offense. Boy, they can just, you know, 20, 25 at a pop. They're so real quick. quick. Real quick. See, they're holding us a little bit there, but they don't get called. Uh, Kearns comes off late. Again, they complete a long pass down there before Oldham makes the tackle. This is Broussard. He gets uh, only about uh, one yard. Good hit by Mark Kearns. He's an excellent. Power. Well, he is uh, 210 pounds on a 5'7 frame, and here he just takes it outside. We get good penetration out there, but we don't make the tackle. Uh, Oldham misses it before Kalmeyer makes it, and here they take it outside. Bouchard back in after missing one play for the touchdown. So they go 73 yards, nine plays. Only took about three minutes, and it's 24 to 14. Place is going nuts yeah. right now, Todd. <laughs> but again, here comes the offense, and again, you mount a drive and take that momentum back. Pick up the first down, a uh, good pass to Latin over the middle there. He picks up uh, enough for a first down. We come back on the waggle pass. Throw over the middle to Sam Archer for another first down. We'll look at it again. This was a big third and 20. That's right, we were a little short on this down. This is yeah. not, <laughs> we pick up 18 on this. Uh, Musgrave under pressure, hits Sam Archer, tries to spin for the first down, doesn't quite get it. So that sets up a fourth and two. And uh, coach, you decided to uh, mix things up a little bit. The fake, punt, Latin Berry with a keep. 27 yards, a very big play as far as the ball game is concerned. See at the top of your screen, Chris, there comes Andy Connor, 47, trapping out. Latin runs right by the man. There's the linebacker we got a piece of. Now, oh, here we go. I thought we might be able to score a touchdown out of the Latin made a 27-yard gain and kept the drive alive. And it was a very pivotal point in the ball game because, again, the Cougars had had some momentum and we're near the end of the half. This is a good drive. Not only do you score, but you wind the clock almost all the way down. There, were about, there was about six minutes left with Washington State having the momentum when we ran the fake punt. Here we run the uh, what the, we call the waggle screen. Musgrave goes and throws back to Derek Lavelle. We get a couple of key blocks down here, and he makes a nice run pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. So the uh, Ducks then penalized and moved back. This is a first and 15th play here, the little tip drill. 
Sam Archer on the reception. Real good concentration by Sam making that uh, catch after the ball had been tipped. Second down and four at the Cougar 11. Nice run by Latin down to about the two and a half yard line. I know you were a little disappointed that the thing stalled here because I know you wanted the seven points and you we end up sure kicking did. a field goal. We sure did. First and goal on a two and a half. They blitz inside, then we get a holding penalty, and we had to settle for the field goal. <clears throat> we tried to run the clock down so there wouldn't be any time left, but uh, they stopped it with one second left. We kicked off, but Washington State didn't get any return. Halftime score 27 14. We're ready to go back to the third quarter highlights, and the Ducks will have possession of the football to start. The third period is they had deferred their decision at the toss of the coin. Come right out to throwing the football. This is a second down play. Picks up a couple of yards. So on third and about four. There's Kolya Teff once again. Another big reception and a first down for the Ducks. Big play right there because it's uh, we're backed up with going into the wind. We need to get some. Uh, movement here move the ball up the field so Washington State doesn't have great field position and Cole makes a nice catch on a little delay route out of a two tight end set comes underneath picks up the first down after a penalty of five yards for illegal procedure first down and 15 little dump over the middle of the bell he gets about nine the next play we see third down and five from the 30 make it the 41 yard line just missed uh, Kind of the crown there, we overthrew it a little bit. Uh, Derek had his hand on it, didn't hold on to it. Now we punt the ball away. Milburn gets a, a high punt here, bounces, touches the Washington State player. We almost recover it. Tom Meyer was right there, but the Washington State player that touched it recovered it. So now the Cougars with their first possession of the second half. Now they come out. Uh, throwing wide to uh, we're playing soft uh, in there and they start hurting us with uh, some underneath stuff on this particular drive. They get inside of us in a seam there and pick up uh, another key first down. Key play here. First and 10 pass is complete but watch the hit by Brett Young. The ball comes loose fumble Chris Oldham recovers. <clears throat> good job of Brett Young official right on the play. See a good spin move by Matt Brock right in the face there but they catch the pass. Here comes Brett Young bang and the ball's coming out before the receiver hits the ground and Chris Oldham just drags it in here. <laughs> <laughs> Second or third try he did anyway. So turnover. Dennis Erickson did not like the call but I guess uh, turnaround is fair play uh, in athletics and on the very next play Musgrave is hit as he releases the football and it's intercepted by the Cougars. So they now have good field position. Ducks leading at 27 to 14 were early moments of the third quarter. Almost get another interception right back. Uh, good deep pass defense there, breaking on the ball, but we come up short. Now they throw on the, we're in man-to-man -man coverage there. And they throw complete. Derry Corton knocks him out of bounds. Third down and two from the 26. Give it to Broussard, and he just does get the first down. So the next play we see is second down and 10 from the Duck 24 yard line. Here's Broussard again. See, we missed some tackles there. But we do get over there and make a stop. We get held on this play. <laughs> Brock was complaining all day. Here, he scrambles out. We're in man coverage again. We lose the man, the tight end. And Rosenbach just does a great job avoiding the pressure and finding him for the touchdown. We were talking about noise before. I think the decibels went up a little higher after that. They sure did. So now it's up to the offense to come back and regain the momentum again. They start off with about four, four and a half to Derek Lavelle. The next play we see is a second down and five. It's a loss of three as Johnny Taylor is nailed behind the line of scrimmage. So this is a key, very key, third and eight. And the guy we talked about at halftime, Sam Archer, with the reception. The splendid splinter. Is that what the <laughs> splendid splinter? I like that. You see here we're running the waggle, and now instead of going front side, we come all the way back to Sam Archer running the in route on the back side. It was pretty well covered, but Sam made a nice catch and spun out of the tackle and picked up the first down. Very key first down for the Ducks after a gain of 18. This is a second and 10 play. Draw play to Latin Berry. 
Excellent job, uh, picks up 11 yards on the first down. Good running there, real good hard running. Take it up inside again with Lavelle carrying for about six. Now we're starting to control the line of scrimmage and getting some big, big holes there. Derek Lavelle with some nice moves there. Gee whiz. He could win a jitterbug contest in the 50s, I think. I think you're right. Good block. <coughs> Fusco, uh, Lattenberry got a good block, and Lavelle shakes a tackle there, leaves one grabbing air, and picks up about 12 yards. He must have been great in hopscotch. <laughs> There's the hop. But he got scotch. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened on that one. They can't all be perfect, I guess. This is a third down and sixth play here. The pass is incomplete, but the Cougars charged with roughing the passer, so it gives the Ducks a first down, one of five first downs via penalties the Ducks got during the course of this ballgame. You see the, the, the most of the yards are tough, but we're, we almost fumbled the ball there. Musgrave does a good job just getting it and diving forward for about a yard gain. He dropped back to throw here. Things are well covered, almost caught, almost intercepted, and almost caught again before it drops incomplete. The field goal, now this drive was 13 plays, 71 yards, and six minutes worth of Oregon offense. And six minutes uh, into the face of the wind, which is, was critical because Washington State uh, mounts a drive again with the wind at their back. Uh, Andy Connor making a nice tackle there, getting help from Doug Douglas. You can see we're chasing, but we're not having a lot of luck. Matt Brock finally forces him out of bounds. Tim Rosenbaugh, the Ben Gazzara, Pac-10 quarterbacks. Draw play here, excellent run by Bassard. Talk about breaking tackles. Uh, good job there by Derek Horton, or I think that was Derek, <coughs> excuse me, Brett Young saving a, a touchdown, actually, after we missed about three or four tackles. Derek Horton knocks him out of bounds. The drive continues. Rosenbaugh finds his man. Sliding catch here by Stallworth. Good for 18. And then the ball now down at the 17-yard line. This is a third and one play. Good defense by Scott Kozak. Excellent job here, uh, forcing him into a fourth down play. Good job. Watch Scott Kozak. Matt Brock. Ball back off. Good job by uh, Kozak stuffing him short of the first down. Ready for the fourth quarter. Let's go right to it as the Ducks are leading, but the Cougars are mounting an attack. In fact, on this play right here, the second play of the fourth quarter, a touchdown pass, and with the point after, goodness, this is all of a sudden a two-point game, 30 to 28. And the place is going nuts in the Palouse. Yeah, it really is now because I think the Cougars thought that they, they had climbed the hill, they had climbed the hill, but uh, to your team's credit, you were able to prevent them from getting over the hill. Get a good kickoff return here by Chris Oldham. He almost breaks this when we get a good block in there by Boatwright, and he pops it out to about the 34-yard line. This then becomes a critical drive and a critical play. Personal foul called against the Cougars. One of their uh, linemen, Ivan Cook, uh, drilled Andy Sania late and uh, gave us a first down there. You can see a nice run, ground level. You can see a lot of action in there from those ground level shots, Todd. Steve Studebaker, our cameraman on the sidelines, doing a good job. Personal foul, late hit coming in, spearing there, adds on to that. And now Randy Wilhite takes an excellent block again by Derek Lavelle, and Randy Wilhite picks up the first down yardage. It's just great to see uh, Lavelle blocking like that. Uh, he always gets those yards. And Lavelle gets in there and does a good job. Gets about five. And Randy Wilhite punches it over from the one yard line. So a very, very important drive after the turnover to regain the momentum. And as much as anything, give you more than an eight point lead where they'd have to score twice in this situation well, to win the football game. That was our thinking in kicking the extra point that they now have to score twice to beat us. They can't, if we go for two and miss, then they can uh, tie us with a touchdown and two point conversion. Good draw play there by Bouchard. Three man rush again. Hit the man out in the flat. Good tackle by Chris Oldham. And maybe the athletic play of the game coming up right here. Chris four. Oldham. <laughs> a 
Unbelievable. He's directing traffic. He's running out of gas, too. <laughs> I think the tank was on empty right about there. <laughs> He's on all the special teams, but we're in a four-man rush here. Chris, uh, that makes a good break on the ball here, comes right up over the top of the receiver and actually plucks it right out of his hands, keeps the ball, and off he goes. Good job here. Getting Kalmeyer up in front, directing traffic. Kalmeyer gets a good block there. Oldham hurdles over it. And we're in good operating position deep in Washington State territory. There is now about 8.23 left to go in the football game. And uh, with a touchdown here, you might put this one out of reach. But uh, unfortunately, can't quite get it into the end zone. This one almost a spectacular catch by Terry Obey. Said he didn't have control. Uh, the ball was ripped out of his hands. We had to settle for field goal again, which I'm not real happy with. We need to punch it in when we get that kind of field position. So now the score. Ducks leading at 40 to 28. Six and a half minutes to play. Still enough time for an explosive offense. Excellent job there by Derek Horton. You've seen his name a lot today, haven't you? Played a great football game. Second down and about six. And he just dumps it as the pressure was on. Mark Wynn, we're in man-to-man -man coverage there, and Mark Wynn came late. Now they're on third down. They run the option here, and we're in great shape. And Brett Young comes up with a tackle for a loss. Excellent play in our nickel package here. We play the option well. Matt Brock forces the pitch. Brett Young sheds the block and makes a great tackle. Good athletic play there. So the Cougars now forced to punt. You get it back with a chance to run some time off the clock and maybe even better get some kind of a score to put this one out of reach. Derek Lavelle. Good block by Latin Berry there. Lavelle with 131 yards on the day. The first Oregon back to rush for over 100 yards, three consecutive games since Bobby Moore, Ahmad Rashad, did it back in 1971. And there's Kirk Dennis's fifth field goal on the day, which broke the Oregon school record. Also broke the backs of many of the Cougar boosters as the Ducks lead by 15. Coming up next for the Ducks, a home game against the Stanford Cardinal. That'll do it for our show this week. We hope to see you next week, same time, same place. Oregon Football 88 is made possible by Harold Taylor, Taylor Electric Supply, Portland. Immer and Oswald, Volvo and Subaru, Gladstone. Mashovsky Lumber Company, Portland. Waddle's Restaurant and Original Taco House. Rasmussen Motors, people who are driven by excellence drive one of these. Olinger Travel Homes on 82nd Avenue, the number one Atasca dealer in the world. And by Bolliger & Sons Insurance.